Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the continue keyword in Python 3. So this is the standard example that you've probably seen online. Uh, so we have a list with the numbers 1 through 5. We have a for loop, we have a conditional, and inside the conditional we have the continue statement. Uh, the general idea is we're going to loop over this list and if a number 3 is found in that list, we're basically going to skip that and we're going to print everything else. So let's take a look at that. Uh, as you can see, we've printed out 1, 2, 4, and 5. We skipped the 3. So why that happened? Basically, when uh, the loop went into the 3, it said continue, and the loop restarted again uh, with the number 4 and didn't continue down to this, uh, didn't uh, make its way to this print statement. Let's look at an example uh, that might be more realistic when you're working with APIs and, and databases. So uh, here we're, we're working with a list of partiers. Um, this is a list of dictionaries and we have their ages. And basically we're going to loop over this list of partiers and we're going to make sure that uh, only people that uh, are 21 or older are able to party. <laughs> uh, so basically the same thing. We're going to loop over our partiers. If the age of the partier is less than 21, then we're going to continue. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the word continue. I think that uh, the word skip would almost be um, more more accurate or representative of what it's doing. But basically if the... If the um, if the party is less than 21, then we're just going to continue without them. Uh, otherwise, uh, if they're good to go, then we're going to print them out. So let's see what that looks like. So we've printed out uh, three partiers here, Jessica, Julia, and John. Uh, you can see that Joe is 19, so he's not going to make it. Uh, we could even, um, what we could do that's also kind of realistic and and, and representative of what you might do in real life is we're actually going to make a new list and we're going to call it partiers uh, allowed to party and this is going to be an empty list and uh, instead of printing it down here what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to append this part a partier to the new party list Boom, and then at the very bottom, we'll print out our new list just to see uh, what our outcome is. Boom, do, do. Boom, so party is allowed to party. We have uh, Jessica, Julia, and John. Uh, we could even make this a little cleaner and only append their names. Um, boom. So here we have a list of Jessica, Julia, and John. These are the partiers that are 21 years of age or older. Uh, so there you have it. Um, a simple and a slightly more complicated example with the continue statement.